The Banks is getting a new tenant. General Electric is bringing its global services center to Cincinnati's riverfront. While the official announcement isn't expected until early next week, a real estate source told WCPO the exciting news today. Nine on your side, reporter Amy Watts is live from the Banks with the big boom for downtown. Amy. Well, it was between the banks, Oakley and Mason, and the banks made the cut. Now, local business owners say this is a game changer for the area. You're doing it now. You don't really have a choice. Jim Mooring is a lifelong Cincinnatian and owner of the Holy Grail Tavern and Grill at the banks. The city's been nothing but great to us, and we've had great years, and I think uh, this just is going to be icing on the cake, quite honestly. 1,400 jobs are relocating here. The Cincinnati site will be one of General Electric's five shared services centers around the world. Mooring says he's ready to see his business boom once construction starts. I think we'll definitely have to add some staff because I think the, the, uh, the lunch hour, we have a great lunch, but I think it's going to get even more so. We have a great dinner, I think it's going to be even more so. And I think it's just going to be those added days moving forward. We think GE is going to love all the amenities that you have downtown. Mindy Rosen with Downtown Cincinnati Incorporated says it's Cincinnati's time. It just adds more employees, more, more people, more residents to downtown. And we see downtown expanding from the banks all the way to over, over the Rhine and everything in between, including uh, the Fountain Square District. GE selected Cincinnati in April because it is close to major job centers within the company, like GE Aviation in Evendale and Westchester, GE Lighting in Cleveland, and manufacturing plants in Louisville. I lived in downtown in 01, 02, 03, and 04, and it is amazing to see the transformation from a conservative little sleepy town where literally you couldn't find a restaurant open on a Sunday to seeing the explosion, not only down here at the banks, but all the way through the city. And GE will break ground this summer and expects the site to be up and running by 2017. Amy Wattis, 9 on your side, live from the banks.